and I have my client record in front of me and here you'll be able to store all of the key information that you would need. Underneath you'll see that we have the tabs along the bottom. This is so that you've got all of the information at a glance and there's no need for you to switch between different screens. If I want to add a note to my client record, I could just click in the detail of our telecon and click on open and that will be logged with a date and time and your avatar will show you who's created that in the database. You're able to personalize Darwin with your own avatar. If we click on the Darwin Options butterfly and then click on Choose Avatar, you'll be able to select who you'd like to be and that will personalize everything inside Darwin. Next to this we have our History tab. Everything that we change inside our record will be logged here. If we click over the Information icon, it will highlight the detail of what's changed. Documents means that we can attach any document inside Darwin, whether it be Word, PDF. Here you can see that we've stored some terms and conditions and role profiles with relation to our client record. If I wanted to attach a CV, for example, I could click on my candidate record, click on Documents, click on Browse. This will then open up my PC. If I go to my folder of CVs, I can highlight my CV, click on Open and click on Add. Within a couple of seconds, it will attach the document and store it against your candidate record. Next to Documents is our Schedule. Inside here you will be able to add any diary appointment that you will need. If we've been speaking to our client and we've arranged a meeting, it will pop up an appointment as it would normally do in Outlook. I'm going to type in the detail that I would need and obviously the timing of my appointment. You can set yourself a reminder if need be and we can save and close. Any of your colleagues that then come into this particular client record can see that we've then arranged a meeting. This will also be updated in your global calendar view as well. Next to our schedule we have messages. Darwin will automatically import and store a copy of the email to anybody it recognises. If we click here it's going to take us through to the original email that we sent through to our client and you'll have a permanent copy of that stored against your client record. Next we have contacts. We'll have multiple decision makers that we're talking to with our particular client. Here you can see all of their key information. If we click on the contact it will take us through to the record where we can store all of our key detail. Next to contacts we have vacancies. Again if we're working on multiple vacancies for the same client we can see at a glance what stage we're at with that particular vacancy and what type of role we're working on. If we click onto the vacancy it will take us directly through to the record again where we can store all of our key information about that particular role that we're working on. If we go through to our candidate record you'll notice that we have a proposals tab. This will enable you to link your candidate with a particular vacancy. When you're ready to put them forward for a role, we can click here and that will take us through to our candidate proposal form. Here we can store all of the key information and we can store the stage that we're at with that particular vacancy. If we then want to link or put forward a candidate for another role, I can click here. We can then select the vacancy that we're working on. We can then put in our unique reference number, the status that we're at with that particular vacancy and any other personal detail in terms of benefits and what the final fee would mean to us if we placed our candidate. I'm now going to save my changes and if we go back into our candidate record we can see at a glance the next vacancy that he's been put forward for. If we then click through to that particular vacancy, we can then see a copy of it logged again underneath proposals. You'll have at a glance vacancies for the candidate and likewise a copy on the vacancy record. 